here with Zach Lieberman, and I don't know exactly what to call you. Um, what would you title yourself as? Uh, like nerd, artist, researcher, hacker. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Renaissance yeah. man of technology? I guess so, yeah, yeah, maybe. So how did you get your start in um, the field that you're doing right now? I discovered this community online, especially through Flash, people writing code to animate, and I had always loved animation. And for me, it was just really beautiful, this idea that you could write some lines of code and then see something move, and then you can make really elegant types of motion. One thing that I'm involved with now is, a, is an open source project called Open Frameworks, which is a C++ toolkit. So I'm, yeah, I said before, I'm sort of a nerd artist. I, I, you know, we write software, we, we do sort of low-level hacking, and this is making a tool for other people to, to to make stuff with. For each individual use, you're creating a brand new kind of software. Yeah, every time we have a new problem. A magician comes and says we want to do an augmented reality card trick, and then it's like, okay, let's make a new software about, it. you know, how do we track a playing card? We have a new problem, and we come up with software to solve it. So I saw a really cool video. Um, I think that it uses the um, Open Frameworks yeah. software with a car. Yeah, the project was in Belgium, and it was an advertising company that, that has the Toyota account. Um, and then w once they had the idea of driving and, and making a typeface, they contacted me through that. They needed to use software, kind of real-time software, in order to track the car to get a good sense of what the outcome would be. They did some experiments here with kind of imagining on paper what the movements might look like. The driver would then take those drawings and try to interpret it. He would drive slowly at first and then, and then drive faster because some of the things are really involved wipeouts. My software outputted an image and then the font designers took that image, traced it, and cleaned it up a bit and then made the font. We're making an, an eye tracker for a disabled graffiti writer named Tempt, and Tempt has Lou Gehrig's disease, and we're um, making a tool to, to help him write graffiti again with his eye. Okay, let's hook this up. We're actually tracking the pupil, so as the pupil moves around, we're, we're following it. So we write, you know, using open frameworks, write some code in order to, to find it and fitting an ellipse through it. So there's a data coming from the camera and then we have some illumination from these uh, infrared LEDs. Your eye is a really good um, input device. It's not a great output device. And when you actually start to hook it up to draw, it's a little bit tricky. And so um, we have to do a lot of work to make it easy for ourselves and then also easy for Tempt. It's, it's all Tempt can use to communicate. I guess this takes a little bit of a learning curve. It's a little quirky right now. Oh, <laughs> I just crossed my eye. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the weirdest thing. So um, if anyone wants to uh, look into using your software, how do they do that? Sure, so they can join the mailing list. At, it's uh, openframeworks.cc. And then we have workshops and events all the time. Somebody could learn from the master. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> No, we're we're like we're all learning, so that's the okay. exciting thing. Everybody's in it together, and and learning and growing and evolving together. So very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Hey, thank you. Very exciting. Yeah. That's cool stuff. Hey, thank you. <laughs>